Hello guys, this is Chris here. Um, yes, also known as Mr. Tricky Monkey 1996 or Earth uh, UFO, uh, Independent UFO Central TV. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I keep changing my names. I'm not too sure what to call my YouTube channel because I do a wide range of videos. And over here, uh, as you can tell, I'm screen sharing as well, and I think it's down here or this way, I'm not sure which way, but there is a watermark of my logo, and I want to say thank you to my friend who actually made the logo, and um, yes, I, I appreciate your help. His name is Ethan Woodgate, I think that was his last name. Uh, I may put a link to his uh, YouTube channel if I can get the link off him. I'm not entirely sure what his link address is, but I'll find out. Anyways, but the video is going to be about NORAD and this secret, supposedly secret document. Now Victor something, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name, however I may as well get Facebook up. And this is one. Sorry if you don't want me to show your Facebook profile, Victor. I can easily um, delete the video if you wish. But um, hopefully, you've got your privacy settings to private if you don't want people to look at your profile willy nilly. And yeah, this is just one of the many documents, and I just think it is the biggest proof yet on you on a UFO cover up. Did he like it? No he's not. But yeah, I'm not even gonna pronounce his last name, but Victor Vid Summer? I'm not even gonna pronounce it. He tried well he actually did release the this secret document or documents rather. Um anyways let's have a look at one of the documents. Okay, dokey. Okay, it says <clears throat> October the seventeenth, the seventeenth of October. Uh, J. Hodges Regional Representative Associate Committee on Meteorites National Research Council of Canada, fifteen fifty four something. Saint Regina personally delivered a metal fragment to the Regina Crime Detection Laboratory found by an unnamed pilot. Uh, in the Walluston Lake area of Sac, I'm not even going to try. Sacsayhuen, yeah, roughly 150 miles northeast of Prince Albert, near the Manitoba, Manitoba, Manitoba border. I'm not even familiar with these counties, but is this in America or Canada? I think it's in Canada. Hmm, okay, do. Examination revealed the exhibit had likely formed a part of a vehicle that travelled in outer space. Interested federal and provincial authorities are aware of the find and it is understood uh, Mr. Hodges, Hodges uh, will be conveying the material personally to the National Research Council in Ottawa. Okay, that, okay it's in, that's in Canada. I'm attaching a copy of a memorandum. Okie dokie, something to do with memories. Uh, basically, a testimony. So, there's a bit, a bit of evidence here. Okay, let's get to the important bit. This is absolutely amazing. These are just the six protocols. I'm not sure what the sixth one says. I'm not very good at reading that type of writing because it's like old fancy writing and I struggle with that sort of stuff so I'm not even going to bother with that bit. It says one, reference minutes 19, 20 and 21 of the 220th G uh, GIC meeting please find attached draft. Questioner for service representatives and uh, CMP. I should be grateful if you would check the questioner and add any questions to it. 
you may think that we shall presumably have to produce a number of copies of the questionnaire for district uh, distribution perhaps you could indicate how many we should run off to begin with I think we should also add the uh, the question now in an instruction as to whom it is to be sent when completed would it be in order to say that complete questionnaire uh, to be forwarded immediately to the director of uh, intelligence national defense headquarters you might also consider right this is this is one of the bits that you know is pretty amazing you might also uh, consider it is as uh, it advisable to add that should the flying source actually make a landing on Canadian territory uh, the nearest RCAF command should be advised immediately by telegram or something of the sort. And if you can read this bit, go ahead. Pause it and read it. I have no idea. Okie dokes. So that's just one of many. And this is just basically a log, I think. Vancouver Centre's advised that track something. Something is visual on third unknown tracks. Unknown track, flight size of three. Correction, time scrambled at. Okie dokes. Time to target. For is 90 seconds target interesting I don't necessarily understand that bit there we are this is most important Let's zoom in a bit more it's not very good quality I've got to admit I made something in queries through the Canadian Embassy staff in Washington who are able to obtain for no, for the number, the following information. A. The matter is the most highly classified subject in the United States government. Rating higher even than the E-bomb. B. Flying sources exist. The something operational something operational is unknown uh, but something effort I think that means coordinated effort is being made by a small group something I think that says headed by Dr. Vanuva something Dutch or Vancouver Dutch or something like that. I'm not even sure what it says the some f the entire matter is considered by the United States authorities to be of treacherous significance. I was further informed that United States authorities are investigating very difficult to read. I really don't really annoys me, but still if uh, what I am seeing is actually legit. Supposedly it is. Victor says it is. So whether you want to believe him, it's up to you. But it, these files seem pretty credible. But yeah, this is the um, the most important part of the of the document I think there's more okay nope not that one play down your foes okay close that Right, if anyone really wants to look at this, you can do it. I'll s um, if you want to actually look at this, I'll send a file to you. 
Yes, I do want to open this link. So the, this is a letter to um, Victor. Apparently. The, this information is property of NORAD and as per the NORAD agreement must be reviewed by Canada and the United States. Miss Christina Roth is the Freedom of Information Act. Or in short, FOIA. Point of contact has been and has been provided this ATI for review. The request for unknown track reports identified by US Freedom Information Act uh, request to US Northcom preference something something classified secret something USA and Canada uh, Canada documents that are classified secret cannot be released as exemption 15 applies protects from disclosure national security information concerning the national defense or foreign policy and exception 15 international affairs and defense more specifically unit effectiveness standard operating procedures and tactics techniques and procedures um, additionally the release of any details regarding unknown track reports and TOIs um, would affect the national defense uh, of the US and Canada and the improper or unauthorized disclosure of this information is an offense under the Security of Information Act. It also contains information affecting the national defense of the US within the meaning of the espionage laws. US Code Title 18, Section 793 and 794 law prohibits the transmission of a, a revelation of information contained in any records on unknown track reports in any manner to unauthorized person. The, requ the request for table of tracks of interest are classified, unclassified, for official use only. Uh, it is to be controlled, stored and handled, transmitted, distributed and disposed of in accordance with DLD Def uh, Department of Defense policy relating to FOUO information and is not to be released to the public, the media or other personnel who do not have the valid need to know without prior approval of an authorized NORAD official. Exemption 15 also applies for this case. However, the NORAD commander has been has approved the release of the following information regarding tracks of interest and unknown tracks. This yearly average in the past five years has been 1,800 um, tracks of interest and 75 interest, intercepts. Okie dokes. So let me download that please. Please, let me download it. Thank you very much. So I've got the PDF file, uh, I really want to add it to my drive, that's added, okay, okay, yeah. okay that's that's cool, that's pretty cool, um, so yeah, I'm showing you these landing, this, these are supposedly landing preparations, I think I showed you this, these are the landing preparations, but I still don't know what that says, I really don't know. Uh, something we have, something, something, something. This who, so uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I wish I could understand what that says. I'm sorry if that is annoying for you guys. Um, if you guys can understand that type of writing, go for it. Tell me. Wilbert something memo. Okie dokie. Wilbert Smith. Did I see this one? This, yeah, I've seen this one. It's just saddening that it's a bit blurry. Like, if you're going to disclose this type of information, Victor, you should really try and make it more clear. Like, make another copy, because I cannot understand some of this. But this is the most important part, I guess. So, well, I guess, I actually think it is the most important part, which is why it's highlighted. But we deserve to know the whole thing. Not just a little snippet. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Mr. Wright, something defense research. Uh, something Leonard. 
liaison uh, officer at the Canadian Embassy in Washington. Do, 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 eight days. His in in okay with within future investigation along likes of geo energetic or magnetic ge geomagnetic energy release. Now let's type in geomagnetic technology. Now is this something to do with heart now? I have no idea. But um it it sounds pretty complex to me. Very complex. So yeah guys, there is plenty of unknowns and it d obviously does talk about technology and who knows what other technology they know of. And come on guys, I'm gonna show you my Facebook post um, in a There we are. I actually released these files even though what I'm doing Maybe against the US law, but uh, I couldn't give a damn to be honest. Uh, these are the actual classified documents according to Victor. What do you think of these pictures? To have a full review, I re recommend people to open up with a new tab and zoom in with your phone if you cannot read it clearly. Thank you. I'm a genuine researcher and have been researching into this field since 2010 because of my own encounters and my own experiences. Yes. I was very sceptical and wanted to just dismiss it as not real, but ironically enough, the things that I have experienced, is con it is consistent to the other instances that other people have, which is what I meant on this bit, very similar, and I found out after the encounters and sightings, I'm like, what are the chances of that happening? The chances of that happening? Seeing a triangular craft up close and remembering various details on the craft, like a big orange yellow yellowish orb in the middle on each and on each point three points since it is a trap since it is triangular of course that smaller lines you can see underneath the, this craft i have not got an actual clue as to what it would be secret government testing on the new stealth craft or something more of a world um well i was paralyzed i felt love the emotion not fear however I gotta admit, I was somewhat concerned, felt burning sensation all over my body. It was crazy. I have many other experiences, which I am afraid to discuss, without coming across as delusional. But knowing that other people have been through something similar all around the world, or something exactly the same as me, it's just say something, don't you? I believe these documents to be credible. I am very serious about this topic, and it is exciting. Uh, also, still somewhat confusing for me, even though it's been six years diving down this rabbit hole. Now, guys, I'm 20, and it's 2016. No, okay. So six years ago, 2010. How old was I? Six years ago. So let's let's do simple maths. I don't know why I'm doing a calculator thing. 14 years of age. Okay, and I was going through that stuff. I remember a lot of things, right? And, you know, I wanted just to dismiss it and just ignore what I have experienced. But um, what I've got is very valid. And it's very hard to come out in the open about all of this because I don't have evidence, sufficient amount of evidence to say, Luke, I've actually seen this. And all I've got is my own testimony, and I don't know if that's valid enough, because I don't have a, a picture of it. However, it does. Um, this person does confirm what I've seen to be true. So okay, can you see? I saw something like this, like, seriously, I didn't see the uh, top of it, I just saw underneath it, and I saw the cockpit, which was pretty bright, and I don't understand why it was there, but it was something like this, seriously, 
what are the odds of me finding out that this is real if these pictures are not photoshopped, right? And after the experience, I, I what I did, I searched it, researched it, and I looked at that and I'm like, wow, 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 wow. Like, seriously. How? What are the chances of that happening, right? Seeing all the internet, and I've never seen it before, and I, and I saw it myself before I, you know, searched it. What are the chances of that happening? And I've never seen an object like that before. And I go on on site, on, the, on a website, and I thought, wow, okay, this is something that I've seen. Something very similar. Why? What is it? Why is it the, if it's, obviously it's a deep black project of some sort. Now you might think, oh, you're just crazy, you're all listening. Oh, I don't buy that. At first I thought, okay, what I just experienced was quite interesting. <laughs> um, I wanted to dismiss it, okay, as an hallucination. Like various of other experiences, I dismissed it as an hallucination because of maybe lack of sleep, because I do suffer from sleeping problems. So I thought that was a you know a good explanation. I, I, I like to be skeptical about these things. I really do. But when it comes to things like this, and you know, after the experience, looking at what it looked like and compare it what I remember it to be and it's not changed my details of every encounter every incident that I have had of sightings or whatever not just sightings but actual close encounters and you probably think you've been watching too much Hollywood movies nope no, 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 and this is what is sad. Hollywood movies actually do make it seem really silly. That's the whole point. The masses, it's just to confuse the masses and actually just make it seem rather funny. When this shit is not funny, it is absolutely serious. When people start making hoaxes, you know, and, and try to make people to believe it, it is true, that's when I get really offended. The only reason why I'm releasing these files, uh, these documents, as well as Victor, is because it gives us relief. It gives us hope about humanity and the future for humanity. I'm doing this for the humanity, for everyone else, not, not me. But it does give me a sense of relief to talk about this subject, because it is serious. And if you're on a troll, you can go away, <laughs> alright, because I will most likely block your ass. Because I have no time for people who just say, aliens do not exist, that's very arrogant of you, and I'm not asking for everyone to believe me, but at least be respectful to my... Um, to what I believe in and what I've seen. I was skeptical at one point, I still can be, but it doesn't mean I don't believe that they're visiting us. I know there's more than one race visiting us, and I've seen more than one race. And when religious people, no offense, if you're religious, which I have no doubt at least one of my subscribers are religious, you might think aliens are demons. Now, I understand that, why you might say that, but they are flesh and blood. They're not all just lights in sky and light in person. I've seen crazy things, okay, and, you know, I'm still confused by it, but other people have seen the exact same thing, like, I'm not talking about little green men, okay, this is nothing to do with little green men, I don't think little teeny green men exist, however, something similar, like a similar race to the greys, called the... Uh, Something reticuli, um, I forgot what it's called. I think it's that. Uh, I don't know. I might. Zeta. Aha. Zeta reticuli. Right, now this is the classic alien you would see in a mover, alright? Now, whether or not they exist, I don't know. I'm not. I don't think I've seen something like this before. I don't really think so. Anyway, I don't remember. But I remember seeing a big-eyed, um, 
creature, if you will, being, but it wasn't like a traditional grey alien like that. I've, I didn't see anything like that before. Besides, I wasn't looking long enough. I mainly saw, um, I you know, the collarbone, light blue tintish, uh, tint skin. <laughs> and I saw it because the security light turned on from behind it. And I thought, what the fuck? And, you know, obviously with that sort of moment, you just want to run out of your room and be like, what the fuck did I just see? Now, guys, don't let this scare you. If, if you want to laugh about it, go for it. But <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't think that is real. Okie dokes. But um, do you believe what you want? Okay, guys. Obviously, you guys want the evidence, the proof. You probably just think I'm just speculating right now. I've got to admit, I have come across some stupid bullcrap on the internet. And it's up to you if you want to dis disregard all of this. Or actually pick bits out that seem to be credible and not like silly like that. <laughs> okay? I don't think... <laughs> These type of aliens exist, like little green men. I think this is just taking the piss out of the whole UFO ET phenomenon. Uh, but I reckon it could be something similar to this, but more athletic. <laughs> I don't know. I've not really seen one up close and, you know, took my time to actually look what it is. But I've seen something similar to this, I've got to admit. But, I don't know, because it's not like blue skin, is it? I could only imagine, I only saw that part, I've never seen the face, so I can't really confirm. However, I have seen um, a childlike alien, okay, ET, and it was like light blue, light blue alien. It had humanoid eyes, definitely big blue eyes, and like a bluish purplish tint to it. I know two different colours, I know, very strange, but those are the mixtures that I could get into my head. Something like that? Weird, that's a weird Octarian. Hmm. I've never really, I don't know how many races that are visiting us. And I don't have like a picture of it, so I can't just say, look, they actually exist. Because I, even though I've done six years of research into this subject, um, or topic or whatever, I've not got actual tangible, you know, evidence that you can touch and see for yourself. So this is just only mere speculation for you guys, and this is just an artistic representation of what it may look like. And I saw something similar, smaller, childlike, and I don't know where I saw that, it was years, years ago. I know, but it's just, these types of things, you just cannot um, push aside and forget. These type of things stick in your brain, and no, I wasn't smoking weed, no, I was not high. I do not take drugs, I do not want to take drugs, never. The only form Oh, drug I may take is coffee, heart medication, and now this. And way back when that happened, I didn't even take my heart medication because I wasn't even put on it. I didn't even use this. I don't think they even been released then, back when that happened. And um, so yeah, I mainly I mainly drink coffee back then and tea because I'm British. Why not? But anyways, I I saw that. Um, something similar of the sort, and I've seen not a pyramid like UFO, but more like a diamond UFO. And I remember just watching TV, minding my own business. Now, I am pretty afraid just to discuss all this. You know, I'm quite nervous talking about this on camera because I know my friends, my close friends. I'm watching this video and thinking, what the fuck, are you high? No, I am not. <laughs> uh, it's just really sad. It's really sad, but it's annoying when you see pictures like this, and it's just... No. 
Stop making it so silly. Oh, whilst it's cute. What the fuck? I, I apologise. But anyways, I saw a diamond UFO. I was just minding my own business, watching TV, and it just seemed to be moving along. Something exact, not not like light, but actually metallic. I could see light coming off it, and I thought, is this a balloon? Is this a diamond balloon? But no, it was clearly a metallic object, and I can see it was perfectly detailed, and it wasn't that huge either. But it was further, it was further up into the sky, um, across the road from where I live, and I can just remember it just turning. It's like, what the fuck? I'm just watching TV for Christ's sake. I don't want to. But it was just weird, okay? Weird. And a recent um, encounter that I've had was this green flash, like, in the distance. Like, I asked for a sign, and I got it. Whether I'm just overreacting or not, I saw a green fluorescent flash. Now, I don't know if it could be a drone, just crashed. It could be anything. Um, I... I saw it, I thought, that's pretty weird. But, um, I had to keep my open mind to that. I'm not just going to consider that as aliens. Like, you know, not everything is aliens, aliens, aliens. It can be explained. Natural phenomenon. It can be secret governments or whatever. It could be a, a government secret testing program. I don't know. Could be alien, could be not. I don't know what goes on. All I know is what I've seen, and I, you know, some of the things that I've seen just cannot be unseen, period. It cannot be unseen. So, hopefully, the truth will get out there. But I've definitely seen a pyramid-like, not pyramid, um, diamond-like object in the sky, metallic, you can see the shade in underneath, almost like that, but a bit lighter, but smaller, further out. But it could be bigger since it was further out to make it look tiny. It could be huge. I wish I'd just got a camera. I couldn't find a camera. The only thing I had was binoculars. And I seemed to look at it, zoom through, and I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I was speechless. I don't know why I just didn't get it. I was trying to find a, a phone or a, a camera. I even asked my dad for one. He didn't have one. And he was wondering why I wanted one, and why did I not just discuss it with him? I do not know. I was just completely baffled, as you would. And I don't know anyone else saw that, but it was a few years back, and I saw it. I've seen many crazy things, and they're not airplanes. <laughs> uh, and after the experience with the uh, the triangular UFO. Um, my mate reported the next day, um, well there's an old friend of mine, we don't speak because he's busy with university and, and all that stuff, but he remembers seeing a red orb low in the sky in the morning, he had no glasses on so he couldn't see properly, coincidence, I don't know, and he definitely heard a helicopter chasing after it, low down uh, as well, flying low. Why? Why, why, why? I don't know. I really don't know. I've seen what you would call a light being. My mum said it's an angel. She's highly religious. Whether that's true or not, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know if there's light after death or not. I remained open-minded and sceptical to all of my experiences. But I will never ever say they are demons. I can't. I can't get myself around it. Because I think no offence to religious people, but some religious people at least think aliens are demons. Sorry, but the flesh and blood, they're, they're in metallic objects. Okay. And what? And even more proof of alien life visiting us. Edgar Mitchell. Uh, the astronaut, the famous astronauts. Listen to the recordings, right? It says, mm, it seems like we have visitors again. 
And what you're trying to say, uh, they are hallucinating in space. Is is that um, is that the reason why they saw objects, visitors in the um, in the area? I'm sorry, but I've seen International Space Station live, right? And I've seen objects on the. I, I've seen a lot of things, and they, you know, soon after you see something on the live stream. You know what happens? <clears throat> Cut off. Uh, uh, need need to have maintenance. <clears throat> Quite fishy, very fishy indeed. And you know, I'm not saying every object I see in the sky is alien, UFO, and stuff like that. But um, it could be anything. All right, it could just be normal, you uh, uh, normal craft. Okay, a normal conventional aircraft. Okay, it could be that. But the things that I've seen, and I know what I've seen, and search lot alien or not, it's definitely in, uh, done in secret, and I was definitely used in certain ways. Obviously, I feel like an experiment sometimes when I, when I look look back the uh, triangular UFO incident. Uh, I know what it is. It's not even a UFO, an identified flying object. It's clearly. It. Um, a craft of some sort, like, I can see it was so close, it's obviously 200, 100 feet high in the air, I'm not really good with measurements like that, but let's say it was, I think it was just above my first floor bungalow, yes I live in a bungalow, <sighs> honestly guys, <sighs> you have no idea how alone I felt the past six years, over this stuff, and then when I find out other people have experienced that, makes me feel good about myself actually. Anyways, sorry for ranting on, and if you want those files, and if you want me to talk to you about this in greater detail, in private, I will do so. I've not said everything that I would want to say, but I don't want this video to be too, too, too long, because I do not like waiting. For my videos to upload. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want, and stay tuned for more latest news on UFO disclosure. And uh, for the people that don't believe in it, well, I didn't ask you to watch this video. Kindly leave a dislike. Maybe.